Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and I'll be showing you a sneak peek at NVIDIA's newest graphics card, the GTX 1080. This is the Founders Edition, and we'll also take a look at Vive VR. I went to Austin, Texas for the tech event, and it was super fun. I'll probably vlog about it on my JTL Love Life and Advice channel later on. Let's get down to business on the GTX 1080. Here's what's new and cool. Maxwell was made using the 28 nanometer manufacturing process, and Pascal, the GPU on the 1080, uses the 14 nanometer process, which should make this card an energy efficient powerhouse. It only needs one 8 pin power connector. This is a specs rundown which should make you drool. The GTX 1080 has 2560 CUDA cores with a base clock of 1607 MHz and boost clock of 1733 MHz. You're going to have a lovely time overclocking this beast. We saw it running at a boost clock of over 2100 MHz at 65 degrees Celsius. Here are some more specs. It has 8 gigs of Micron's new GDDR5X memory. They've redesigned the circuits and trace layouts completely for speedy performance. We're talking about a 1000 picosecond wavelength. The memory speed is 10 gigabits per second, and the 256 bit memory interface makes the memory bandwidth 320 gigabytes per second. As for display connectivity, you get DisplayPort 1.4, which can drive an 8K monitor at 60 Hz, HDMI 2.0B, and Dual Link DVI. For those looking for card dimensions, it measures 4.376 inches by 10.5 inches. There's awesome new software involved. Here's a quick look at Ansel. It's an advanced tool for screen sniping or in-game photography. You can expect most games to have Ansel support. Ansel allows you to pause the game and take control of the in-game camera to frame the image of your choice. It's even got filters, much like you get on Instagram, value adjustments, crop, vignette application, and the like. In addition to the prepackaged filters, the community can add their own. Ansel also has Super Res, which allows you to drastically upscale the image. For example, you can take a 40K image, wow. You'd scale up the image, then Ansel takes multiple high-res images of the entire scene and stitches them together to make a massive image. There's the option to take 360 images, and you can explore them using a VR headset. A phone or tablet with a gyroscope can do the same. Let's move on to simultaneous multi-projection. Your monitor is like a window you use to look into the game worlds. We normally only have one projection of this game world, or two in the case of VR. NVIDIA Surround treats all your monitors as one display or one projection into the game world. In this case, your game doesn't know if your monitors are angled toward you, so there's stretching and warping of textures on the edges. Using simultaneous multi-projection, you can have up to 16 different 2D projections in one pass, which means the game world is rendered all at once instead of rendering the geometry per display. This also greatly speeds up VR performance. The GTX 1080 is faster than even a Titan X when it comes to VR. Time to go over my VR experience. I got to test a Vive headset and had loads of fun playing the NVIDIA Funhouse demo. The VR Funhouse included a bunch of cool games with excellent motion detection. I did not feel nauseated at any point. My favorites included the bow and arrow game, where I took an arrow, dipped it in flames, and shot at still and moving targets. I love games where I can target things. The other was a shooting game where I got two guns to destroy plates, vases, and other breakables within the VR. There's something totally satisfying about breaking things. I enjoyed how responsive the controllers were in the games. It felt like I was handling the actual equipment in real life. Also in the world of VR is the VR Works Audio. It uses a real-time physically modeled acoustic simulator to mimic sounds you'd experience in real life in the game. Normally, audio is directional and effects are added depending on the situation. With VRWorks Audio, the waves bounce off of and react to items in the game world, much like it would in the real world. For example, sound is dampened when hitting soft items, and it echoes off of solid items. This gives you natural sound based upon the room size. Stay tuned for the GTX 1080 overview and benchmarks in my next video. NVIDIA claims this card is faster than dual 980s, and it's even faster than a Titan X. Here's a look at the 1080 and 1070 prices as well as availability. That wraps up this sneak peek at NVIDIA's newest card, the GTX 1080, as well as Vive VR. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess it's bye for now, and see you later!